Our family bought this farm in 1956, and nine years later, 1965, converted it from cattle and hay to a black walnut tree farm. In 1968, we received our certification from the MFBA, the Missouri Forest Products Association. We have a management plan, which is written in five-year increments and updated annually, which conforms to the MFBA guidelines. It also conforms to the guidelines issued by the Missouri Department of Conservation and the University of Missouri Extension Service. But like most tree farmers, we haven't always got our trees thinned and trimmed in time. Since 1968, we've planted over 3,000 trees. And although our farm is not particularly well suited to growing black walnut, since the soil is mostly Winfield silt loam, and the fields have a western and southern aspect, the trees grow slowly. But despite these disadvantages, our seedling survival rate is more than 95%, as long as we keep the deer protection wire in place. Right now, our biggest challenge in producing good trees is the competition the trees face from residual fescue and other invasive species. But the second greatest challenge we face is deciding what to do with poorly shaped trees, resulting from a lack of pruning and thinning in the past. Like other farms and other tree farmers, we modify our practices based on changes in the practice that we learn from conferences, our fellow farmers, and from the tree farming literature. We'll spray it with Roundup and uh, give the tree a better chance. What you want to do is try to not get dirt for no reason, I can use it, no air or anything. I'm going to do that here, but I'll pour some water over the sand.
cut this.